Okay, now that we talked about var lists or arrays, whatever you want to call them, we need to talk about loops. So a loop is going to allow you to loop through a list or just do a loop. So let's start by uh, doing the most simple loop possible here. So the way we do loops is we say loop, we do a comma, and then we say how many times is this loop going to execute. So let's say I wanted to execute two times. Okay, we do another comma and in here, whatever we place in here is going to execute two times because we said loop this twice. So I'm just going to place a note here and let's see what this does. It says hello and then it says hello again and it's done. Now there's an optional loop counter variable. And this is if I come down here, I do a comma and I say loop count. And this can be any name that you want. So if I output this variable, what is this? What is this loop count? Note, give me a note saying what this is. So let's reload, check variable. So the first time the loop runs, loop count is zero. This is the zero times so it's like it's the first time it's running it gives you a zero. Second time it gives you a one and then it's over because i tell it to just loop twice if i say loop three times it's gonna give me a zero then a one and then a two because it's zero based just like the lists. Now let's say i want to output this list. I'm gonna grab this list and i'm gonna place this list here and i want the loop count to determine what item in my list I want. So the first time the loop runs is zero. So it should give me a low. The second time it's one, loop count will be one. So it should give me rolled. And the third time it's number two and it should give me blah, blah, blah. So if I reload, I check my variable, first time hello, second time rolled, third time blah, blah, blah. Now, I could, instead of using number three, I could use the special command we saw in the previous video. I believe it was the previous video, which is var size and then grab my string variable. So I'm saying repeat whatever number of times this variable is. So if I just do it like this, we're going to have exactly the same thing. So if I reload, hello, rolled, blah, blah, blah. If I remove blah, 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 and save, and I say reload, check variable, hello, rolled, nothing. Why nothing? Because when I, when I created my, when I defined my string variable list, I said there was three positions in there. So my var size is three positions, zero, one, and two. So you need to be careful when you use var size because sometimes you're not sure if your string variable uh, list is going to be 1, 10, 20 or 1000 and you might start it like that. So you need to find another way of getting how many values, how many placements there are written down in your variable list. So we looked at string length before and we can do something like this. For example, let me just comment out this stuff. Just do a line comment, control forward slash. And I can do something just to show you. I can say string length and I can grab, for example, I can grab this and grab number two and as you can see i didn't set number two so number two should be equal to this so what's the string length of this let's check it out reload string length is zero because there's nothing in there so knowing this and using a special command called loop exit we can actually loop through this and exit the loop stop looping once we found a variable that is zero or smaller than one, whatever you want to say it. So 
let's say, let's loop 999 times. And we'll do an if statement here. So let's say if, and I'm going to grab this right here, cut, delete that. And I'll use loop count. So if the string length of this variable list value is equal to zero, for example, I want something to happen. And what I want to happen, if it's zero, it means there's nothing in there. And I reached a position that has got nothing in there. And I don't need to keep looping. So I can say loop exit. Else. So another common means else. And I'll just close this if statement right there. And if you press control shift on a line, you can move that line up and down. Uh, control right bracket will move it right. What I'm saying here is that if the length equals zero, you're going to exit this loop. You're not going to loop anymore. And if it doesn't, you're going to give me the output of that position. And this should give me hello rolled and exits the loop. And using this system, I can even find out how many positions are available in my list. So for example, if I define a variable, let's define it here and say var set. And this is, this is going to be a long one, but no worries. And I say count and I'll set that as zero. And then I can come into my variable here. And every time I find it, I'll output it. And I will, and I can say, use the ink command for increment var ink. So it starts at zero. First time I find a string in there, I increase it to one. And the second time, because it's two, I'll increase it to two. So I'll loop it and I can do a note down here saying loop ended found. Okay, so I need a string merge here that we already learned how to do. So string merge loop ended found and I'm going to merge this string with this new variable found this number and I'm just going to say placements. So what this will do is the following. Oops. Let's reload check variable. So it says hello. It says world and it's increasing the, the, the variable. And then it says loop ended found to placements found to placements in my list variable. So this is a way you can use something you can use for um, not looping indefinitely to a list variable.